Welcome back to our YouTube video series on Introduction to MRG Solve. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can work with a model object. Um, in the previous video, we looked at loading model objects using the mread or mcode command, and we also looked at digging into an internal model library that comes with MRG Solve where you can get pre-coded models. In this, in this video, I'd like to show you what you can do with the model object um, in addition to just simulating from the model object, but ways you can work with it and with the ways you can extract information from the model object. So in the previous video we saw calling a command after we load MRG solve package, we can get a model object and I'm gonna pull from the internal library here. So I'm gonna use the mread command. I'm gonna get a a two compartment pharmacokinetic model and I'm gonna calling this modlib function is gonna tell Emery to pull this model from this internal model library but we can load that uh, Emery uh, loads and compiles the model now we've got this model object and the whole point of this video is I want to show you some things you can do with this model object obviously there's a, gonna be a lot more videos on how you can actually simulate from the model object um, but I wanted to show how you can work with this and extract some of the information. So one of the most basic things you can do um, with this model object is just to print it to the console. So I can just type mod here. i kind of got two things going on here. But I can either do it in the console, mod. And I get this printout um, of just some basic information that's... Uh, that shows how this model object is configured. So this model object came from a source file called pk2.cpp. Um, there's uh, a, a time element here where in, in embedded in this model object is there's a concept of a simulation time. So this time starts from, by default, it starts from zero, it runs till 24. And this delta is one, that means that when we simulate from this model object as it is, we'll get a simulated output every one time unit. We also think, see things like compartments and parameters. So this model object has three compartments. It's got an extra, extra, extra vascular compartment, a central compartment, and a peripheral compartment. So we can see that from this printout too. And then there's also parameters in this model. We've got five of them. We've got two clearances, two volumes, and then an absorption rate constant. Um, also in this model object, we've got information on omega and sigma, and that'll be a more advanced video, but those are uh, matrices for simulating random effects in the model. Um, but this just tells us that there's no uh, there's no omega matrix and there's no sigma matrix. There's zero by zero, zero rows by zero columns in this matrix. And then we also have got some solver uh, settings. So we can set what we want the tolerance to be um, for the solver and some uh, other things like max steps and things like that. That are, Those are some more advanced settings um, for um, for the solver to, to follow as it's solving through the differential equations. So that's one of the basic things you can do is just typing the model object out to the console um, another thing is we, we've got a command called param. Param stands, stands for parameters, and when I pass that model object into this param command, I can get a listing of the parameters in the model. So here I've got the five parameters, and we already saw the names of those. Param will also give you the value. So for all the parameters in the model have a default value that um, MRG Solve used to simulate from, and those values can be changed. We can call init, and that tells you the initial conditions for the model. And so what init does is it lists off all three compartments. Those are, so here's our EV and our scent and our PRIF compartments. And so it'll give you the names and the numbers of the compartments as well as the initial values. Um, this model is just a PK model, so all the compartments default to uh, a value of zero. But if the compartment did initialized to a non-zero value, that would get calculated here, and you could find that out with this init command. The other thing that init does is that it will number the compartments for you. Um, so we can see that EV is the first compartment, so that's compartment number one. Then comes sent, that central compartment is number two, and then perif is the last compartment, and that's compartment number three. So if you wanted to dig a little bit more into the code behind this model, so this uh, Model code, recall that this came from a file called pk2.cpp, and I could go 
searching on my computer and trying to find where that file is to find out what's going on in that model. Or I can just call a command called C. When I see a mod, bring this up a little bit, that'll show me the code that's behind this model. So the model object contains the code that went into generating the model object. So I can go back and see that, oh, I see this is, I can get a little more information here about what this extravascular compartment is or the peripheral compartment. Oops. Here I'm using an annotated uh, model specification f uh, format, so I can see that this is, oh, that's my extra, extra, extravascular compartment. And I can see what the units are for these clearances and the rate constants, and then see what's going behind in the structure and how the model was coded. And then I've also got um, an output here in this capture block where I'm outputting the plasma concentration, and it'll tell me a little bit about how that was um, defined. Okay, so we can just print the model to the console, we can check the parameters, we can check the initial conditions. Um, some other things you can do with the model object is I can go into the model object and I can use this dollar sign operator and I can uh, say I know that the clearance is the one of the parameters and I can go and I can extract what, I, what the values of the clearance is and so I can get the, uh, the, that the current value of clearance is 1 or I could go back and get the model current model, uh, current value of the peripheral volume, or peripheral volume, and that's 10. So this dollar sign operator um, will get the um, the current value of the some of the parameters in the model. Um, and it, in addition to the, uh, the parameters and the initial conditions, I can coerce that to a list. Or I can just get that parameter list and just get it as a regular R list. So now that we've got the parameters are the names of the list and the values are the values of that list, I can do the same thing with the init, initial conditions. And I can get, oops, I need to do this as list. And I can get the names and the values of the compartments. Or I can just say names. If I'm only interested in getting the names of the parameters, I can get that and the names of the compartments, names of the initial mod, and then that'll give me the names of the compartments. And usually we're not, we're not doing that so much when we're just kind of working with the model, but some, once your project gets more complicated or you might be doing some programmatic work with the model, you might be interested in extracting that. And there's sort of a catch-all um, coercion method here where I can say x equals as list. Now I can just take that whole model object and I can course that to a list and this will give you basically everything under the sun from that x. It'll give you the number of, number of equations, it'll give you the compartment names, um, code, there's the model code. So basically it just turns that model object into a list object um, that you can just go and then now the, all this now this is just a plain old list and you can extract anything out of that uh, out of that model object that you want and work with it um, as you needed. Probably a lot of this stuff you might not need um, or you might not be interested in, um, but it's there if you need to get it. Um, and so I hope this video was helpful in um, showing you how to work with this model object once you get these commands down, especially this the mod command. Just taking a look at the um, the model or even looking at the parameters to re remind yourself of what was in the model, um, what, what are the parameter names, or just go back to the code. It's a nice way as you're working with the model just to go back and remind yourself of where this came from um, and what's going on in, inside the current model. So I hope um, these commands are helpful um, as you learn to work with MRG Self. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next uh, tutorial video.